Kudos and good job to the D.C. police officers who recently saved the life of a domestic violence victim. Police officers responded to a call of a domestic violence. They got there, they found a woman laying in the middle of the street in a large pool of blood. And one of the officers who had just gone through a gunshot wound in traumatic medicine class realized that she was bleeding to death because she had an arterial wound or she had an open artery. So what did they do? They cut her shirt off and they tried to make an improvised tourniquet. And one of the other officers said to the news cameras, he said, I started looking around for a stick or something. Sound familiar? Well, they realized that that wasn't going to work. A bystander was standing there and they reached up to him and they said, let us have your belt. So the guy pulled his belt off, they looped it around her leg and one of the officers stood there and pulled really, really hard on the looped belt while the other one elevated her leg and put direct pressure on it while they waited for the ambulance. The ambulance came, the victim did not lose her leg, she is recovering right now. Now, the question to you is, do I want to have something already on me or do I want to be looking for sticks and belts and improvised gear? Folks, a tourniquet, a ready-made tourniquet, they're relatively inexpensive. There is no reason for you, if you're a gun carrier, if you're a bona fide, certified good guy, there is no reason for you not to have the gear and the training. And if you don't have it, I would highly suggest that you get it very, very soon. Thank you for joining us for this edition of Student of the Gun Homeroom. Make sure that you're listening to the radio show each and every week, watching the TV show, and that you download the mobile app. Hey, it's free, right? You can get it at the Google Play Store or your iTunes Store. And please leave your comments below.